Good morning and welcome to the Daily Share where we pray the Word of God and bring it to life in our lives. Proverbs 11 verse 31 Behold, the righteous shall be recompensed in the earth, much more the wicked and the sinner. New King James Version If the righteous shall be recompensed on the earth, how much more the ungodly and the sinner. American Standard Behold, the righteous shall be recompensed in the earth, how much more the wicked and the sinner. And the Berean The righteous receive their due on the earth. How much on earth, sorry, how much more the ungodly and the sinner. Um, on again, rounding up on the theme of um, curses as outlined in Deuteronomy chapter 28. Um, and this time we're reviewing all the signs and symptoms of healing from those curses. After you've followed um, God's guidance and submitted yourself and sought God through prayer and fasting in an effort to return to him according to his word, where he says, return unto me through um, fasting. And um, also with reference to Leviticus 26, verse 40 to 42, uh, where God outlines that actually if you, um, if you admit your guilt, if you pray to him and admit that you've been guilty from your forefathers to your bloodlines coming all the way down to yourself, um, and admit that you've been hostile towards God by worshipping other gods. And you admit your guilt, basically, and pay the price. Um, then he will remember the covenant he forged with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Of course, we are um, grafted into this family of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Because even though we were once... Um, oh, what's, what's that word? We were once... We, basically, we were not... Uh, by blood descendant, directly descendant from Abraham, Jacob and Isaac um, but obviously since Jesus died on the cross he grafted us into that family so we we can also expect and receive the blessings of the covenant forged between um, Abraham, Isaac and Jacob once you've been through that process of repenting and admitting the guilt of your forefathers uh, all the way down to yourself you know god does forgive you and it does clean out remember the bible says if we confess our sins he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness when you are cleansed from all unrighteousness you are those demons basically that were assigned to you as a result of the curses they are removed from you that's the cleansing right and guys when i say you can start to be you you begin to see the signs of healing uh, this scripture here says, Behold, the righteous shall be recompensed on the on the earth. Think of all the... We, we went through the curses in the last few shares and, and, and all the symptoms that you were cursed. All the losses you experienced, all the financial losses, all, the, all your blessings that just never made it to you, that never came to you as a result of those curses. Every effort you made and that amounted to nothing as a result of those curses. When you've make taken the effort made the effort uh, to return to god you are recompensed okay god rewards you um god is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him when you seek god you are you seek him through uh prayer and fasting through re and you are repenting in that process and and resubmitting yourself to him and resisting every devil that tries to influence you and get you to behave or to act um in agreement with them and you resist all that you return to him you know you can expect compensation and this scripture here is talking about the righteous shall be recompensed recompensed is um is is similar to compensated okay um i like the barrier which says the righteous receive their due meaning remember god also said um there's a scripture that says uh, blessed be god the father of our lord jesus christ who has given us all spiritual blessings Whatever point, whatever age you are now, all your blessings or everything you need for the rest of your life going forward is in place in the spirit realm. Um, everything you've needed from the day you were born to this point right now, it was always in the spirit realm. It was always in place in the spirit realm. However, because of curses, uh, those blessings could not manifest in the spirit, in the physical realm. Um, and so it says the righteous receive their due on earth. So when you are righteous, that means you, you, you seek God, you walk in the guidance of God, you, you live righteously, you, you live in repentance because you're not going to be perfect, you're going to make mistakes. But when you're constantly repenting, um, then you're, you can expect the compensation you will receive. It says the righteous shall receive their due on earth. It says, behold, the righteous shall be recompensed in the earth. So you don't have to 
you can have faith that everything you lost as a result of the curses, it'll be recompensed. It'll be compensated to you. And I have a, a long list here of some of the uh, expectations or the signs of and symptoms of healing you can expect. Um, that I literally just experienced myself uh, <clears throat> from, you know, the, the differences I felt after repenting. The di I've shared before, I've given testimonies of uh, some of the rewards I got from the 21 day fast. Um, and then obviously I later on went to do the 40 day fast. But I can also, uh, I, I like to sort of keep reviewing some of the differences um, that I felt or feel or experienced as a result of just basically returning to God, right? So I'm going to run through the list quickly, starting with a clearer mind. Um, when you're in cases, you don't realize just how foggy your mind is. You can't think straight and hence you even make more bad decisions in that state. Um, but once you are, once you've been, once you've been cleansed from all unrighteousness, your mind clears up. Okay. You sleep a lot better. Um, you sleep, uh, you have far less, um, nightmares. Basically you are fearless spiritually, even in your dreams, you're very confrontational, um, where witches used to sort of have their way with you. You find that you're confronting them and you find that you are rebuking them. You find that you're rebuking evil spirits in your dreams using the word of God. Um, so you're fearless spiritually. You're also fearless physically. You're not anxious, um, to, you know, to spend money. And by that, I don't mean anxious as in scared. I mean, part of the cases obviously tend to be financial. And um, part of the ways that you are sabotaged financially when you're cursed is the way you spend endlessly and the way you spend your money without really thinking. And um, once you are, are cleansed from all those cases, uh, all that unrighteousness, you find that you are less anxious to spend, right? You, 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 you are far more steady in your thinking. Um, I remember it, before my 40 day fast, I used to literally, if I had some money in my account, I, I would literally just a spare amount of money. That's just there. I, it, I felt the need to spend it one way or the other. I just couldn't rest. I had to go out there and do something. It was almost as if it was a cue for me to say, right, go, even if you just go for dinner, or I just had to spend it. I wasn't comfortable just having money um, sitting in my account, which obviously, as you know, is absolutely ridiculous. And, and needless to say, obviously, it meant that I was just spending nonstop and never had enough money and was living from hand to mouth, basically. Uh, you start to find now I'm, I'm coming out of that and it's slowly and surely getting better the anxiety that need to spend is definitely gone definitely gone uh, my mind is just more stable and settled um you become peaceful even when things go wrong even in uh times of sort of crisis because you know life presents crisis all the time at work or at home or within the family and um, you find you're, you're very peaceful and you can think through a, a problem with with a steady head right and you come up with solutions and you execute them without any resistance um whereas before it would take you forever just to solve a problem or to uh, come up with a solution or you might come up with a solution and just feel reluctant to get up and do something about it okay you, p you feel peaceful at home even in your own home it's just peaceful um you find that you get around your house and you tidy up you clean up you you just and some people might listen and think well yeah obviously you have to clean up no when you are cursed You'll be surprised what you're comfortable with. Um, but when, once you are cleansed from that unrighteousness, you just get up and take charge over your home and just sort things out, put things in place, okay, and keep things where they're supposed to be. You have a conviction of wrongdoing. Um, you know when you've done wrong and you have a strong conviction in your heart to stop it and you repent to God, you pray and repent to God and, and you definitely stop and you, you sort of make the steps um, to change that behavior. Um, you are content with your current circumstances. And though you understand that your life is gradually getting better, your finances are gradually getting better, you're also content with your state as it is. You're not ashamed anymore or you're not anxious to change it drastically. Um, you're also content with being alone. As you know, you're not actually alone. You know God is right there with you all the time because you've experienced him because you've seen him cleanse you from all unrighteousness when you've been through prayer and fasting. OK, uh, you laugh from deep down in your heart or when you cry, you feel deeply. Basically, it's like your feelings are restored. 
it's like your your feelings are restored to back to where the way they should be the way you should feel if you're supposed to feel upset about something you feel genuinely upset for it if you're supposed to feel very happy and joyful about something you feel genuine happiness and joy whereas before you'd have felt sometimes indifferent over situations you should be you know concerned about but you wouldn't even feel a thing that's a sign that obviously your thinking your wiring is being modified because you are cursed so you're not even thinking uh, or, 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 or giving all scenarios in your life the correct um, or reaction in order to, to solve the problem or to do something about it okay um, you also have um, you, you have you're full of ideas like I said you have a clear mind you're so full of ideas and you have the power to execute those new ideas you have boldness in your dreams as I said you be confrontational towards evil spirits and you have boldness in real life too thank you for listening God bless you have a lovely day goodbye